Yo, what's up, people? It's your boy. I'm Chris the Down One, and I am back with another video. Or should I say, the Chronicles of Miss Vicky, Miss Tricky Vicky. Now, in this recent photograph, she was also a huge supporter for Mitch Romney. All right, and you can tell by this photograph that she was a huge a uh, fan of Mitch Romney and also she has a touch of the freaky side because she's trying to show off her breastuses. But that's neither here nor there. She now moved on to bigger and better things. Now she's a supporter for Donald Trump and she's so much of a supporter for Donald Trump that she is downplaying Donald Trump's recent accusations on how he treats women. Like I said in earlier videos, Donald Trump treat women like objects. Donald Trump does not treat women like his contemporary or his equal. He treats them pretty much like lap dogs, all right? Now, there are stories out there that Donald Trump grabbed women by the puss, all right? Uh, call women this, that, and the third. There's a prime reason why he's the owner of the Miss Universe organization that holds those pageants, all right? So he can have a playground to play and act out his behavior. So, Miss Vicky, you are supporting a sex offender. And it doesn't matter if the sex offender is a celebrity, if the sex offender is wealthy, if the sex offender is a different race. A sex offender is a sex offender. This sex offender that you're supporting wants to run and become the president of the United States. Miss Vicky, if Donald Trump treated you this way or treated someone in your family this way, would you still be a big supporter for Donald Trump? That question has been laid out there and I'm waiting for you to reply. Now, a lot of women, especially on social media, is wondering how come we as society do not treat sexual assault at a high level, all right? How come we downplay a lot of these sexual assault cases. And this is the prime reason why you have someone like Vicky that will support a sexual, a, someone who commits sexual assault and downplays the incident. But you also have men, yes, there are men out there who uh, make excuses for their favorite athlete or star. Prime example, Greg Hardy. Greg Hardy had a sexual case dropped because the woman did not want to appear in court. Now, a lot of people are trying to put two and two together and somehow it's making sense. Somehow saying that, uh, well, the woman got paid off. Maybe the fact of it is that the woman didn't want to go through this ordeal just to, uh, you know, take him to court. Maybe she wanted to move on with her life. And a lot of sexual assault victims have to ponder this uh, thought. I mean, if I go through with this, I'm going to get a lot of baggage that is never going to dissolve in my life. I'm always going to be linked to this case, okay? So there's a lot of pressure for a lot of women out there. And why go through it when we don't treat sexual assault at a high level like we treat any other type of crime? Sexual assault is a major crime and it's no joke. And now we're going to allow a guy who willingly said that he committed sexual assault on a day-to-day -day basis to become commander in chief of the president of the United States. Have you guys lost your effing mind? Are you kidding me with this noise? But Miss Tricky Vicky, you got a lot of explaining to do. Uh, you got to really get out there and retract your statement. Clearly, you're not because you're thinking like a fanboy because you got all this fanism in you, especially about Donald Trump, okay? But guys, tell me what you think out there. Rate, comment, subscribe. It's your boy. I'm Chris the Don One, and I am out. Deuces, guys. Deuces. Hit that notification button, player. <laughs>